Okay, good morning to everyone. My name uh, is uh, Cesare Hassan, and I have uh, the privilege to explain the result of this study that was uh, led by a Portuguese uh, group with uh, Mario Ribeiro and um, Rola Malero as uh, first author. This study deals with the quality of guidelines in uh, endoscopy. This is the first time that uh, quality of guideline was um, assessed and uh, we felt this uh, to be important because innovation in uh, endoscopy are coming with an impressive uh, pace. They are meant to be applied to larger and larger population the more we get endoscopy for uh, screening purposes and uh, therefore physician does not only need guidelines to be driven in the diagnostic approach, but they only need high quality guidelines. How did we assess quality of guidelines? This was uh, relatively simple because there is an instrument out there that is named as uh, Agree 2 that is intended to assess the quality of guidelines. In detail, it consists of uh, several domains with um, specific uh, assessment of each of the outcome and implication of a guideline. We applied this uh, instrument to all the guidelines that were retrieved by PubMed for endoscopy, and this is 101 guidelines. What uh, are the results of our study? The result of our study is that the mean quality of guidance in endoscopy is 54%. This means that uh, every two agreed two items, uh, each guideline satisfies only one. The issue here is where are these guidelines failing? And the answer from the agreed two instrument uh, is that the most important uh, missing in our guidelines is to collect the perspective of uh, patients within the guideline development. Moreover, we are not addressing intensively as we should the barriers that uh, prevent the application of uh, guidelines. And all of this uh, must be addressed because to have guidelines that are not applicable is uh, useless both for uh, physician and patient. Therefore, I feel that uh, further research should tell us how to improve the quality of our guidelines, how to put the patient not outside but inside the guideline development process and, and how to assess problems related with the applicability of uh, our guidelines. Thanks uh, a lot.